everybody, Bonnie here. Merry Christmas in July. I have been waiting and waiting for July to come so I can finally crochet some Christmas stuff. And well, I mean, in all reality, you can crochet at any time you want to, but uh, it's Christmas in July. If I lived by myself, I would totally have the Christmas tree up and all the Christmas decorations, but I don't. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is this guy right behind me. This is Mr. Everett Green. He's from 1996, and I only know that because I looked him up. I saw this at the thrift store for $5 in June, and I'm like, I need that Christmas tree. I flipped it on in the store to see if it worked, and it actually worked, but I just played it a tiny little bit. And when we got it home, it's pretty awesome. The mouth moves, it does sing, and um, it's pretty loud, but I'm gonna play it for you guys, but I'm not gonna do all of the songs because I'm not sure about copyright, you know? Um, but yeah, and it's been in my living room since June. I've had a Christmas tree there, and it's probably gonna stay. It'll definitely stay all of July. And then, I mean, August will be here, and it's time to decorate for fall in September, right? <laughs> so, anyway. Mr. Everett Green. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how beautiful thy branches dashing through the snow. Here we come, a oh, wash sailing, love and joy come to you. Thank you very much. I just love that thank you very much at the end. It's so funny. Anyway, Mr. Everett Green Christmas tree, I had to have them and it's perfect for Christmas in July. I put them back right there. Um, yes, that is a present next to him, and I'll get to that in a little while because what's Christmas without presents, right? I want to show you the Christmas, um, little amigurumi that I crocheted, which is this guy, and you probably recognize who it is. I mean, if you don't, this is Rudolph, <laughs> and this pattern came from a kit. It came from... I've got stuff right next to me here. It came from this kit here, that which I was gifted a while ago, and it the kit came with enough to make Rudolph, and then it also has a booklet in there where you can make Hermie, Clarice, Santa, Mrs. Claus, and the Abominable Snowman are also um, in the booklet, which I do want to make all of them, but I'm not <laughs> sure if I want to do it out of... This is chenille yarn from the Dollar Tree, which <laughs> is not what comes in the kit. This is what comes in the kit. If you're um, not familiar with amigurumi uh, or, or crochet kits, usually they come with kind of cheaper yarn that's really thin. Like this is at least a three, maybe even a, like thinner. And it came with a metal hook, a 3.25 hook, which is right here. And I tried using it, but um, I like the clover hooks because metal hooks just hurt my wrist. But anyway, you guys, I'll show you what it, well, I didn't make the whole thing because I was frustrated. This is using, this is my stitch marker here. It's a gummy bear, isn't it cute? I need to make some more, but anyway. Um, this is the head of Rudolph. This is. The one that I made out of Dollar Tree chenille yarn. This is the head for <laughs> the pattern. Seriously, um, it was so hard. It's hard to crochet tiny anyways, but uh, I was just like, no, I'm gonna do my own thing. So I used a 3.75 hook, and this is the yarn that I used instead, which is the Just Chenille Dollar Tree yarn, and I think this is probably like brown or doesn't have a fancy name. Coco, it has a fancy name. This is Coco. Uh, I used this skein here. I'm like holding all this stuff. I used this skein here, which I need to wind up. It hardly used any yarn to make that little Rudolph. Um, and I do like, I do like how the chenille yarn turned out. I also had scrap of the black and the white that is also just chenille yarn from Dollar Tree. I mean, you guys, it looks like a little acorn hat. There's no way I was gonna, no, I wasn't gonna finish it. And I'm not too keen on this color. It's kind of like a, it's, this is a pretty brown color. This is kind of like a 
poopy color. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so my little Rudolph, I did have to tweak the pattern just a little bit. Um, what I've found also in crochet kits, it's the language is a little bit different than what I'm used to. And um, it was not really confusing because I knew what they meant, but they had different abbreviations for things. And on the bottom, they wanted you to <laughs> Frankenstein sew it together. But I put an extra round of decreases in there. And then I was looking at this and I'm like, something is off with Rudolph. And it's this patch here is missing. He has like a white patch. So, but anyway, it's cute. And I didn't do what you're supposed to do for the tail. The tail wanted you to surface crochet a chain stitch. And I'm just like, what? Cause you make the tail all in white. All I did was some stitches on there to give it the brown top. Now you, this does have a lot of sewing. You have to sew all four legs on the tail, the ears, the antlers, the muzzle. And then this little part here for the mouth, it's just stitches back and forth. For the nose, it told you to use white thread. I didn't. I used some red embroidery thread to sew that nose on. And then the eyes, <laughs> you guys, the eyes. So these eyes look pretty cute. And the bead for the nose and the beads in the eyes are, well, they're safety eyes, are what came with the kit. That's all I used. I didn't use the stuffing or any of the yarn from the kit itself. The eyes are six millimeter. Now the pattern wants you to <laughs> cut out felt. Let me see if I can, cause you can see how like there's felt there behind the safety eyes and then stick the safety eyes in. Well, when I was making that freaky little head one, I did do that. For some reason I used pink as an outline. Don't do that you guys, cause then you get pink around the white eye. And I stuck the safety eye in there and I had it on the head. I had it on the head like, I don't know. It just, it looked really weird. And I'm not a fan of using felt like that anyways. So I didn't do that for this one. I just took a piece of white acrylic yarn and put it around the eyes. And I think that looks pretty good. While I was making this though, it wasn't really, really clear where to put the safety eyes. I could tell by the shaping of the head, it's kind of hard to tell with the muzzle on it, but it's flatter on this side and it comes out on this side. So your beginning magic ring isn't exactly in the middle of the head like it usually is with any other amigurumi. So I wasn't quite sure where to put the safety eyes and I didn't want to mess it up. So I put the safety eyes in after I had stuffed the head and this, this is not going to any child. It's not leaving my house. This is my decoration. So I just glued the safety eyes in without the back. I do not recommend you guys do that. Like, don't do that. Do not just glue in safety eyes with no back. You're asking for trouble there. But that's what I did here. I just put some E6000 glue around the post of the safety eye and I stuck it in there and I let it dry. And they're not going anywhere for my purpose. I mean, my kids are older. They're not going to be chewing safety eyes out of toys. So my little Rudolph, I like how the nubs turned out. The pattern calls for dark brown, but I didn't have dark brown. So I just used black. The feet look pretty good. It does stand totally on its own. Um, yeah, now I don't have any other lighter colors for Clarice cause she's a little lighter brown and I don't have a lot of colors in chenille yarn. So I might remake this in acrylic yarn just so I can make all the rest of them in acrylic yarn and have a little display. And now that I know where the safety eyes go, I can put those in properly. If I do use safety eyes, maybe I will embroider the eyes. I don't know. But I think he turned out really cute. Really cute. It just makes me want to watch the movie now. <laughs> so that is what I have finished to show you. There are so many just awesome Christmas patterns and snowflakes and holiday things to crochet. But I really wanted to crochet a nativity scene. And I just happened to see this one when I was scrolling through Facebook. It was on one of the sites, I, one of the pages, I can't remember what it is. But this is the traditional nativity and it's from Crochet at Terry's. Uh, this one I just love. 
but it's detailed. It's not, but it's not like overly detailed. You actually get a little bed too, and the wise men have their gold frame. It says in myrrh. I'm so I'm gonna be working on this now. This one, it is part of a crochet along right now. Let me see. I wrote down like in my strawberry book of the details on that because I know I wouldn't remember and I don't remember. So it is um, a crochet along on Ravelry, and I'm don't really use Ravelry. I can't even say it. <laughs> Ravelry. Um, I will link the page though if you guys are interested because she's releasing certain patterns and certain times and it's it's like really cool but it's too much detail for me <laughs> to even try to follow that's why I just bought the pattern all that pattern is awesome it's like 42 pages there are lots of pictures and it was six dollars and 68 cents on Etsy I will link that down below also um, she is based out of the UK so when I downloaded the pattern there is a choice for UK terms or US terms and of course I did the US terms one um, but yeah, it's, it's really, I can't wait to get started on that. And that is probably going to take me the rest of the year. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool to make them even bigger? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a set out of worsted weight ones and maybe I'll make a set out of like chenille or I don't know. My, my head is just spinning with all of the ideas and all the Christmas stuff. Um, so Christmas usually has presents, right? And that's why there's a present under the tree. I had mentioned in my last video um, that we were visiting family and we we drive like all the whole like mitten of Michigan. Well, up near the top where the Mackinac Bridge is, there's this place called Seashell City, which is just, it's a tourist trap basically. Um, the first time I went there, I was so disappointed because it's, there's billboards, you know, advertising it as you're coming up to us, like giant man-eating clam and, you know, seashell city, thousands of seashells. And just, I was expecting it to be like awesome. And it's a really long building with a bunch of tourists, um, a bunch of souvenirs in it. Basically, they do have a lot of seashells in there, which I think is kind of funny because Michigan does not... Like the, the Great Lakes are freshwater. You don't walk the beaches of Lake Superior and find any of these seashells. There are no clams. <laughs> there was like sharks hanging from the ceiling. It's a really cool place. Like they do, they do have, it's set up really well, but it's just real, basically a big store. <laughs> and of course I did buy a few seashells, which are, where are they? Oh, they're in my pocket. I put them in my pocket because I didn't want them to fall on the floor. I bought some of these. These are like, these are called strawberry seashells or strawberry shells or strawberry something. But um, I thought they were really cool. So they also have gift boxes like grab bags. And that's what that box is right there. I did take um, some footage of Seashell City, which I will insert at the end. And to give you guys a better if, like feel for Seashell City, it's really fun. Um, but I bought this for myself for Christmas in July. They, they've got these for boys, girls, teen girls, teen boys, men and women, and they're all labeled as to who they are meant for. This one was $12 and it's got a check mark by adult female. So that's me. Um, and my, my sister bought one for her son and kind of got skunked. It was just, um, Dollar Tree like little plastic animals <laughs> not even like seashell stuff they they range in pr price from like five dollars I saw one for an adult female for thirty two dollars like of course it's a bigger box but I'm not risking that much twelve dollars was all I was really willing to um to risk to see to buy like a touristy souvenir and be skunked um yeah so I thought it'd be fun to open it with you guys it's been driving me nuts I've had this for like a week I did not peek at all I have been known to peek at Christmas presents I, I did not peek at all I even forgot to grab scissors so maybe I'll need to grab some scissors but let's let's see what's in here okay it's taped really good it's taped really good I'm gonna grab a thingy okay I grab this 
um, this dangerous, this dangerous knife here. And it's Christmas. Time for presents. It's really thick wrapping paper. And it's taped there. Let's see. I'm gonna throw the wrapping paper on the floor. Okay, we got a box. Let's slit open the top of the box. And I'm gonna put this in my pocket. Oh my goodness, what is it, you guys? I can't see. I can't see what you're seeing. What is it? It's paper. Okay. So that means it's probably breakable. So I'm going to be kind of careful. Let's see. What? So we've got bubble wrap now. So maybe. Okay. So this is just. So it's empty. Bubble wrap. Let me see. I'll put the box right there, I guess. Okay, I still can't tell what it is. Let's see. What is this bubble wrap? Oh, it, it, it looks like it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Look at this. It's a bunny rabbit. I was not expecting a bunny from Seashell City. I was more like expecting a lighthouse or a seagull or um, a seashell. But <laughs> this is really, really cute. Look at that pink nose. Oh my goodness. I should crochet this. Oh, it's, I'm happy with this. I'm really happy with this. It's, I don't know, it's made of probably resin. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. It's not broken, which is good. <laughs> it's not broken. It's a bunny rabbit. Merry Christmas, Christmas bunny. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for putting up with me, you guys. Um, I hope you are having a good day. I hope you find some Christmas joy in July if you're into Christmas. Um, and if you're one of those that just cannot stand Christmas in July and I'm so sorry. You know what? Michaels has their holiday, their um, like their Halloween and their fall decorations out right now, and I'm thinking maybe in a month or something, and we might be seeing some Christmas decorations. I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys for watching, and I will be seeing you soon. Bye, everybody.